Yes. Our God reigns. Hallelujah. Praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Oh, Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to oh, Jesus. Amen. Oh, Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Eh. Praising the Lord always. Praising the Lord always. Praising the Lord with all my heart. Praising the Lord with all my heart. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Yes. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for me, my very soul shall shout, Hallelujah. Praise God for saving him, for saving me. Are you not happy that you are born again? Another addition. For saving me and I. Hallelujah. Much, much. More than you know. My very soul shall shout. God of Abraham, I seek and Jacob. Jehovah is the man of war. His mercy is enduring forever and ever. Oh, pray this holy name. Why not praise his name? With your son, provoke him this morning so that he can enter your battle. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, His mercy is enduring for. Praise the Lord for His. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for His. Praise the Lord. Your hands, your hands, your hands. Be lively this morning, unless you come to watch drama. Of course, there is no stage for drama here. It's a battlefield. Joy, joy, my heart is full of joy. Joy, joy, my heart is full of joy. My Savior cares, is ever there. There's a reason why my He's full of, he's full of joy. Express it. Don't say it with your mouth. Let the angels report to God. My Savior cares is. There's a reason why my. Open the heavens. Let the fire fall. Open the heavens, let the fire, O Jehovah. Jesus, 
O Jehovah, open the heaven, Jesus. 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 Amen. Amen. You see, you have been so much in this school that somebody will teach you how to enter the case of God. There's nothing that provokes God to fight for you than when you sing to him. The devil is already accusing you before God. The devil says you are discouraged. The devil says you are no more trusting God. The devil says you cannot continue and you come here with all weariness. Look at the tonic. Look at the vitamins. The Holy Ghost is releasing into you today to revive your spirit. Some of you are just clapping as if to say you come to watch drama. I've told you when I'm leading people in choruses, I'm not entertaining you. This is not a worldly church. This is a lively church. Paul and Silas, they were able to praise God and move the mountains. There's nothing you, Bible says, every sacrifice we need to offer has been offered. The greatest was Jesus Christ. So if you come to God, the only thing you can give to God is praises. You see, it is sacrifice that is acceptable to him. Nobody is going to ask you to give money or give your child or bring a car here. The thing you are doing is what you are supposed to do. It's your responsibility to praise your God. And when you are praising God, God will prove himself in your life in Jesus' name. Do you understand what I mean? When you praise God, God will magnify you. After he has anointed Joshua, he said, Joshua, for me to enter the battle, you have to praise me for six days. These people were addicted with praises. And before you know what is happening, the walls of Jericho fell down. Amen? They enter the stronghold where the enemy said they cannot enter and possesses. Today, I pray for you, the spirit of praises will enter you. Look at how they say their amen. amen. Have I not blessed you enough this morning to say amen? amen? I say, have I not blessed you? I say the spirit of praises will enter into you. Amen. The spirit of crosses will enter into you. And possess you and addict you in Jesus' name. Amen. All power belongs to Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Satan, shame unto you. Oh, Satan, shame unto you. Satan, shame unto you. Satan, shame unto you. I will never let the devil win the battle. I will never compromise. We see, though he may try me with him, though he may try me with her, I will never, I will never let that. Oh, the devil win. Never, never let the devil win the battle. No way, no compromise, no negotiation. I will never let victorious. Yes, you are victorious. Glory be to God who gave you the victory. Victory. You are victorious. Yes. Personalize it. Oh, victory we are. Oh, victory. You must be, whether they like it or not. I say victory we are. Power belongs to God. Power belongs to Jesus. Power. Power belongs to God. 
But what belongs to Jesus? Who yeah, Jesus conquer? That's why you must conquer. It is written, it's written. Hallelujah, Jesus conquer. That's why you must conquer. He that come from heaven is above than all. He that come from heaven. That's you, that's you. Hallelujah, come from heaven. Hosanna that come from heaven. Iman that come from heaven. Hallelujah, come from heaven. You are the one I know. Jesus, where are you? If you believe that this year, tell him. Oh, you are the one I know. Jesus, you are the one I know. Jesus, you are the one I know. I say you are the one I know. Jesus, you are the one I know. I say you are the one I know. Jesus, you are the one I know. Jesus, you are the one I know. Jesus, you are the one I know. I say you are the one I know. Jesus, you are the one I know. I say you are the one I know. Jesus, you are the one I know. Jesus, you are the one I know. Jesus, you are the one I know. I say you are the one I know. Jesus, you are the one I know. I say you are the one I know. Jesus, you are the one I know. You are the one I know. Amen. You will see your Jesus in action today. I say you will see your Jesus in action today. Because today the Lord will appear. I say the Lord will appear. When Jude was, he said the Lord will appear with the 10,000 of his sin to execute judgment. Today, your enemies are in trouble. What did I say? I said, quote me, your enemies will be in trouble. Because they will be disappointed. That thing with the fear will come upon them. They say that if you get married, they will be in trouble. They say if you have children, they will be in trouble. All those things they fear, because of your testimony this morning, it will be their reward in Jesus' name. In this session now, we want to talk about deliverance from strong and powerful enemies by war and by fire. Amen? Help me say somebody this morning, welcome to victory ground. One thing I don't like is that maybe that person by your right or left, you don't know the person before. You are not made the person before. You are told to prophesy to that person. When the angel came to the Mary, he said, Mary, you are blessed. And that was the beginning of the blessing. This morning, stay somebody by your right hand. Welcome to the victory parade. Some of you are afraid to tell somebody. So you are that prophet whom God said, go and tell this person. This thing will happen. You are free to take the person by your right hand side. Welcome to the victory parade. Amen. If the person cannot look, shake the person. Because that person will not miss his blessing. Now turn to the person by your left and do the same thing. Because somebody will bless you also. See, my brother, my sister, welcome to victory parade. Amen? And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. Let's see the book of Isaiah. Chapter 27. Chapter 27. We are reading just from verse 1 to 4. Isaiah. He said, in that day, that is today. Amen? I said, when? In that day, the Lord with his soul and grace word shall punish the Lebetian, the piercing serpent, even the Lebetian, the crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon in the sea. Look at verse 2 again. In that day again, in that day, that same day, two things will happen in the camp of your enemies. Number one, there will be war there. Amen? 
Number two, there will be punishment. I say, what will happen in the camp of your enemies? Number one, there will be a battle that will defeat them. Number two, there will be what? Punishment. Everything they have done against you, they will receive their own portion in Jesus' name. In that day, he said, you will sing unto her a vine of red wine. Verse 3, I, the Lord, do keep it. I will water it every morning. Your testimony will blossom. Is that how you say your amen? They want to uproot your testimony. They want to cast it into fire. The Lord said, I will water your testimony. Your testimony will speak for itself in Jesus' name. He said, I, the Lord, will keep it. Nobody can destroy your testimony. I will water it every moment. Lest any hurt it. I will keep it night and day. Look at verse 4. Fury is not in me. Who will set briars and tongues? You see, whenever God says that good things is going to happen in your life, enemies will stir up something to make you lose it. But this morning, you will not lose your reward in Jesus' name. You see, who will set tongues and briars? Evil is determined against you because good thing is coming on your way. But Isaiah said, who is that power? Who is that enemy that want to choke you up? That want to check up your testimony? You see, you will go through them. Amen? I say you will go through them. I will burn them together. Amen? Fire will burn this morning. I told you that the deliverance this morning is by word. This word there means, the Lord said, with sword. Sword means by war. Amen? When God said, sword shall be, but that means there will be a battle before that victory is given to you. Number two, he said, I will burn them with fire. That means punishment. When God will punish the world for its unrighteousness, it is going to be in fire. The same thing, all the briars and tongues that have been against you in battle, they turn your marriage to battle. They turn your place of war to battle. I am telling you that today, the Lord will set fire in that place in Jesus' name. They shall be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. Are you sitting down to watch your enemy? Or are you standing to confront your enemies? Will you sit down to confront your enemies? Up with, stand on your feet this morning and start to worship the Lord. Start to give glory to God because this morning, the Lord said, Today, I will punish your enemies. They shall be beaten with many stripes. The Lord will cast them into the bed of affliction. Open your mouth and worship God. Enough is enough this morning. If your heart is like my own this morning, you will say something. Lift up your voices and say, God, the God of battle, the one that giveth victory, you are my God, my captain, my deliverer, my king. You are king that cannot be defeated. You are king that cannot be demoted. The king that, look at Nebuchadnezzar, with all his glory, he went inside the bush. He was demoted. Open your mouth. Jesus cannot be demoted. The Bible says that God has given you assurance in that you are raising from the dead. What other assurance do you need? If Jesus did not rise from the dead, you are still a captive. You are still a slave. You are still a servant. But because Jesus rose from the dead, today, today, you will experience victory. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and worship the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Give praises to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and worship God. Oh, I say something to God this morning. Say something to God this morning. If you believe that he's God, say something to him this morning. David said, Arise, O God, and let my enemies be scattered. Who did presume? Oh, Esther went to the king. He said, O oh, king, I choose to remain a slave. But if an adventure, Evil is determined. Why should I die? Why should I people die? Oh, the king said to Esther, Who don't presume to do that? Who have taken that conspiracy? Who have called a meeting against you? Who have ordered the battle against you? They shall see fire this morning. The Lord said, I will go through the camp of your enemy. What are you doing? The Lord said, I'm going through the... You don't know the enemies by name. You don't know the location. And God came from heaven with his host of heaven. He said, I'm going to punish them. What are you going to say to God? Are you keeping quiet? Can't you say, go on, go through the camp of my enemy. This morning, worship God, give glory to God, you will come out victorious. You will come out triumphant. 
You cannot be defeated. The Lord is with you. The Lord will fight your battle. The Lord will give you victory. This morning is a morning of great joy. You have invited somebody to come and partake of the victory parade. Can there be victory without warfare? Can there be victory without war? This morning, praises is one of the instruments delivered to you to fight your battle. In Jesus' name we pray. Can I hear another amen? amen? Fight my battle, Holy Ghost. Fight my battle. Fight my battle, Holy Ghost. Fight my I say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Battle, Holy Ghost. I say Holy Ghost. I say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Amen. The Lord said he will punish the dragon. The dragon represents the spirit waters. Amen. The spirit from the water. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. For them to know that you are, you are an enemy, their water will turn to fire. The Bible says it is the fire that causes the water to boil. Any power that derives its strength from the water that have attacked you, that is merging war with you, fire will locate them. Before you pray this prayer, you are going to shout fire three times. I say, Father, in the name of Jesus, locate every power inside the river that derives its strength inside the river. You corrupt their waters, you pollute their water, they will die in Jesus' name. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I am starting to come for you now. One, fire. Two, three. Or I go to the waters. He said, the dragon in the sea. It is the fire that causes the water to boil. Set the river on fire. On that day, the demons in the water. Oh, why did Pharaoh drown? Because the waters of Egypt. The waters of Egypt must dry up. Or the spirit of Egypt must fail. The marine spirit, the marine witchcraft, the queen of the coast, the princess of the sea, the princess of the river, they shall come down. Other than to come down from the exalted position, set their throne on fire, set their habitation on Powers in the water, powers in the sea, set their river on fire. The Lord said, I will punish them. I will punish them. Punish their serpent. Punish their dragon. Punish their crocodile. Punish the shark. Pray. This morning, this morning, oh, I pity them. I pity them. The judgment is upon the water. Pollute their water. Corrupt their water. Oh, the marine witchcraft. Cut off their feather. Remove their wings. They cannot fly. All their engine boat. All their engine boat. With which they travel. Some are sword. She mistake. Pray. This morning, the spirit of Egypt has failed. The spirit of Egypt has failed. The princess of the sea. The princess of the river. They shall come down. How can they come down? Set them on fire. Set their throne on fire. The angel that kept not their false estate. The Lord burned in everlasting chain. And put into other darkness. Pray this morning. They shall be visited with thunder. Everlasting burning. Unquenchable fire. Let fire set them out. Let fire locate them. Inside their bed chamber. Inside the river. Inside their supermarket. Inside their bag ladder. Say, this morning, look at them. In Jesus' name we pray. Holy Ghost by fire in my spirit. Holy Ghost by fire. Holy Ghost by fire. Holy Ghost by fire. Amen. Amen. Do you know what is called warfare? Amen. 
Some of you, when you come to pray here, the minister that God gave to you, we are not buying and selling ministers. We teach you warfare. If you want to learn something, you learn something. Amen? A sister came here last week, Wednesday. She was following me up and down. She was having a, a, a sachet full of drugs. He said, Pastor, my husband just left now with the children. I stay back. I've been staying in the hospital for many years, days now, and I spent 20,000 naira. Pastor, I want to die. I say, You will not die. Amen? When we started praying, the demon said, say, I know you. You are the one that prayed, and the boy was healed. Today, this one, remove your hand, remove your hand, remove your hand. Amen? As he was saying that thing, he said, look at the husband. We have tied the husband already. Look at the children. The children will become orphans. Amen? As we started to pray for her, the spirit, the demon now left. Amen? He started to call the, the husband. The name they called it, they, they said, Daddy, 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 come back. Daddy. He said, oh God, have mercy upon me. Daddy, come back. When she came to us, we said, what happened? He said, I saw my children scattered in the street. Like children without father and mother. Amen? He said they saw the husband, they hang out on the truth. And you come here. We are saying Holy Ghost by fire. Some of you are watching drama. I tell you, I am not dramatizing anything. Bible said the angel that kept not their first taste. The Lord put a chain on that. Now, why should a demon live inside you? All these experiences you are experiencing. It is not when you mention fire, they will jump out. Before they say that sister will die. They say, Pastor, remove your hand for this one. This one, she will die. But when the sister came, it's like he threw the envelope of drugs into fire. Today, any power living inside you will cry out and go. <laughs> Holy Ghost by fire! <laughs> Holy Ghost by fire! <laughs> Holy Ghost by fire! <laughs> Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost, 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 Amen. Now you are going to lay your hands upon your head. If you like, you jump like a man. Say, Father, anything in me that is not of God, whatever you are not planted, let them catch fire. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, anything in my spirit, anything in my soul, anything in my body. That is not planted by you. Let them catch fire. Oh, yeah, pray that prayer. 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 The Bible says, Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And a demon will come inside you. They are living. They are boasting themselves. They say you are going to die. They say you will not live. They say your husband will not live. And you are keeping quiet. Philip went down to Samaria and prayed this Saint Jesus. Oh, clean spirit, hearing and seeing, they cry out. Let them cry out and go. You are no more of them. The demon of your father's house, they have followed you enough. They have traced you enough. They are following you like a shot. Let them see fire. Let them see fire this morning. In your spirit, in your body, every satanic garment, every witchcraft garment, in your body, this morning, cast fire. Cast fire. Let them receive fire. You are no more of them. You are no more of them. Come out of that river. Come out of that shrine. Come out of that prison. Ah, let them see fire. They will throw you away. They will. In Jesus' name we pray. As you see me so, I know the verse. Amen. But Isaiah said, God promised me, and the enemy said, Do you know the meaning of briars? Eh? Do you know the meaning of briars? As you are standing, let me read it for you. Look at David, a man of war. And they do the thing to him. And you are experiencing the same thing. Today, that experience will cease. Is that how you say your amen? Yeah. Psalm 37. Look at David. Psalm 37, verse 12. He said, The wicked plotted against the just. They gnashed upon him with the teeth. The Lord shall laugh at them. Amen? The Lord will laugh at your enemy. For he said that his day is coming. Today is that day. The wicked have drawn out their sword. They want to kill you like that woman. 
They say, Pastor, remove your hand for this one. This woman will die. The husband will die. The children will become orphans. Demon saying something. And you that is a king, you are keeping quiet. Amen? David said they have drawn their sword. They have burned their bow to cast down the poor. They will not cast you down. And the needy, and to slay such as be of upright. Look at it. Look at it. He said, their sword shall enter into their heart. Say, their sword will enter into their heart. Every day they call you son of David. You are not like your father. David said, their sword, which they prepare for me, will enter into their heart. Amen? As they have done to you, shall be done to them. Amen? And their bulls shall be broken into pieces. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, every device, every system, every method that the enemy has employed to shock up my glory, this morning, let them be broken into pieces. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. David explained his own. They want to shoot at you. Show sicknesses. The sister came to us. He said, Father, stop. I have been to the hospital. I have done every test. They did not see anything. How can they see anything? The enemies are shooting their arrow and you are sleeping. The enemies are shooting their arrow and you are keeping quiet. David said today, their arrows break into pieces. The arrow they are shooting, catch fire. Anywhere, any cover, any altar, from where they are launching their arrow, today, fire shall devour. Fire shall devour. All the adversaries of the Lord, break them into pieces. Out of heaven, the Lord shall thunder. Open your mouth. They are spying on you. They are watching over you in their own camera. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to pray this final prayer. We are praying for a sister. And the Lord told us, He said, You are going to command. Some of you, why do you see yourself? You used to see yourself the opposite of you. Doing something that you will not do. Amen? In the dream, sometimes you will be saying something against yourself. Something that your enemies are saying. That is what you are saying to yourself. You see yourself like in a mirror. What you are saying, you are the one causing yourself. Every personal limitation you place upon your life today will be consumed by fire. <laughs> what is the topic? The Lord said that they make an image of that person inside their coven. They say when they bring out the image, they will be beating that image. Anything they are saying to that image will be happening to that person physically today. Everybody say, God forbid. <laughs> say, Father, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Every image of me Inside the coven of the wicked one. Let them catch fire. Or your brother prayer. Anything they are using as a point of contact. To oppress you. To afflict you. To do you harm. Ah. Look at them. Some of them are sleeping. They are still sleeping. Tomorrow they will tell you. I have been to Elijah. I've been. They will ask them. How many places have you gone? With your problem. He said I don't go to Elijah. Nothing happened. No. You cannot come with Elijah. And go back with the same hand. Pray that prayer. Every image, card image, spiritual image, in the cover, they are using as a bottle to afflict you, to oppress you. Fire consume them. Fire consume them. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray it with violence. How can they carry Dagon? They carry the cock of God to the house of Dagon. And they go, the ark will be falling. No. 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 In Jesus.
Lord, I thank you for life. Lord, I thank you for your provision. I thank you for your guidance. Thank you for the good health. Thank you for how you stood for me in time of problems. How you defended me when the battle was looking beyond my control. Even when there was no way, he came and paved the way for you. This is the morning to say, Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful for your works. Lord, I worship you for your goodness. He alone is deserving of our worship this morning. I want you to just think and look back on all God has been doing in your life your family your children your husbands your wives the work of your hands just say Lord I'm grateful Lord I'm grateful Lord I bring my heart in adoration to you this day
of God. You want to sing this song again? Great is thy faithfulness. He's so faithful to me. He's so faithful to us. Great is thy faithfulness, O God.
you think of the kidnappings? Every single day, people die in this country. Some of us are praying because God is faithful. God is faithful to us. He's mighty. He's great. If he has not done something for you, you will not have a reason to praise him. Why not raise your voice and praise him and worship him because he's good. His mercy endures forever. If God has not saved you today, if he has not saved you this week, you won't have a reason to praise him. Why not praise his name because he's good. He's mighty.
Are you praising him? Are you praising him? Are you worshiping him? Are you bowed down before him? Because he alone is worthy of our worship. It's worthy of our praise. It's worthy of our adoration. Let me tell you this morning that as you praise him, every dry bone in your life will come up alive in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have praised him. Let me tell you that this morning, every dry bone in your life will come up alive. Every dry bone in your family will come up alive. Every dry bone in Nigeria will come up alive. Let me tell you that every grave will be opened up. Every dead life will come up alive. In the name of Jesus. Today, the hand of God will touch you. The wind of God will blow upon you. I am telling you today that things will turn around. Every hopelessness where you think there is no hope, God is bringing hope today. I said God is bringing hope today in the name of Jesus. Just have a, I mean, a moment of sitting and we'll read just a passage of the scriptures and we are going to pray. In Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel 37. I will read from verse 1. In verse 1 it says. The hand of the Lord. Was upon me. And carried me out. In the spirit of the Lord. And set me down. In the midst of the valley. Which was full of bones. And caused me to pass by them run about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. They were very hopeless. And he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? And this is the question God is asking today. The situation that seems hopeless, that you have seen everywhere, there is dryness everywhere, hopelessness everywhere, and God is asking today, son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O oh Lord God, thou knowest. Again, it said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God unto thee, These bones, behold, I will cause bread to enter into you and ye shall live. And I will lay news upon you and we bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put bread in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord so I prophesy as I was commanded and as I prophesied there was a noise and behold a shaking and the bones came together bone to his bone and when I beheld, lo, the snails and the flesh came up, up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in there. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon the slain, 
that they may live. So I prophesy as he commanded me. And the bread came into them and they lived. And they lived. And they lived and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army. Then said he unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our paths. Then said he, in verse 13, And ye shall know that I am the Lord, when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it, and perform it, says the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. This is the prophecy of God. And God is saying that every hopelessness in the land shall be turned around. Every hopelessness in your life shall be turned around. Every hopelessness in your family shall be turned around. Every hopelessness in Nigeria shall be turned around. Let me tell you that it doesn't matter what is prevailing now. God is on the throne. And God is still having power. I say God is still having power. And when God steps into any situation, that situation must change. This, this morning, the situation will change in your life. I said it will change in your family. It will change in Nigeria. We are all going to prophesy together as God commanded the man of God to prophesy. And as the man of God obeyed the word of the Lord and he was prophesying as he was prophesying, so the dry bones became live. As we are going to prophesy today, every situation that is hopeless in any area, I am telling you, life will come upon it. Can you rise up on your feet? And you are ready to prophesy. And as you prophesy this morning, things will change. I say things will change in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord? And begin to thank God because he's still God. And he's still on the throne. He still has all the power. And no power anywhere can compete with the power of God. Begin to bless him now. Begin to worship him now. Begin to exalt him now. Begin to adore him now. Because God is God. Open your mouth now and begin to praise him. Praise him and adore him. Oh, come and let us worship him. Let us adore him. For he alone is worthy of our praise. Bow before him. Because he has all the power. Yes. He is the one that has the power to kill and to make alive. He is the one that has the power to create. He is the one that has the power to make alive. Every dead thing. Praise him now. And worship him. In Jesus' name we pray. It says the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many 
in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. As you look around, as you look at everywhere, perhaps you are seeing dry bones. You are seeing dry situations. You are seeing dry, you know, the things that are making you to be afraid. And God is asking you now, son of man, my son, my daughter, can these bones live? You are going to answer God and say, God, thou knowest. In my life, thou knowest. In my family, thou knowest. In Nigeria, thou knowest. We know that you have the power to turn around every situation. Therefore, Lord, arise. In your power, arise. In the name of Jesus, arise. Open your mouth now and call upon God and say, God, arise now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and say, God, arise. In your power, arise. In your spirit, arise. We know that you can do all things. We know that you can make the dry bones to come up alive again. We know that you can make the dead things to come up alive again. Therefore, Lord, arise in your power now. Arise in your power now. Arise in your power now. In the name of Jesus. He asked, can these bones live? And the man of God said, O oh Lord, thou knowest. Thou hast the power to do all things. Therefore, Lord, arise in every situation now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause bread to enter into you, and you shall live. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I say, say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Every dry bones in my life. Every dry bones in my family. Hear the word of the Lord. I command you to live now. Open your mouth and begin to command the dry bones now. Every dry bone in your life. Every dry situation in your life. Every dry situation in your family. Say, hear the word of the Lord. Say, hear the word of the Lord. Live now. Come up alive and live. Begin to live now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Speak to those dry bones. Speak to those hopeless situations in your life. Speak to those hopeless situations in your family. Every hopelessness. Say, hear ye the word of the Lord. Come up alive now. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Come up alive. Leave. Every hopeless situation. Every dry bone situation. In your life. In your family. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Come up alive.
Are you prophesying now? Are you prophesying to that situation in your life? That situation in your family that looks like dry bone and it's like it is hopeless. Every situation in your life and family that looks like dry bone and it is hopeless. Speak now to it. Prophesy now to it. Prophesy now to it. Say you dry bone situation in my life and family. I command you hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Come up alive now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now we are going to take it to Nigeria. As you look at everywhere, you see like dry bone situation everywhere. The news you hear every day is like hopeless situation everywhere. The occurrences everywhere is like dry bone situation everywhere. And God has set us up today to prophesy upon Nigeria. We are going to prophesy. Let me tell you that God is the creator of the whole world. In a single day, he will change everything. I said in a single moment, it will turn around everything. God is going to turn around Nigeria. Ha. If you believe that, even this morning, you are going to see the miracle that will happen. In Nigeria, there will be a miracle. Because the wind of the Lord will blow everywhere. From the four corners of Nigeria, the wind of God will blow. I said the wind of God will blow. The wind of the Holy Ghost will blow. Every hopeless situation will become hopeful in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Ah. Oh Lord, one la. Oh Lord, one la. Baba no worry. Oh Lord, one la. O lo won la o lo won la baba no ware u o lo won la O lo won la o lo won la baba no ware u o lo won la Amen. The hand of God will pass through Nigeria. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Every dry bone in Nigeria. Hear the word of the Lord. Come up alive. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray now. Prophesy over Nigeria now. Prophesy upon Nigeria now. Every dry bone situation, hopeless situation. 
in Nigeria. From the north to the south, from the east to the west, everywhere. Hear the word of the Lord. Come up alive. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man. Say to the wind, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O bread, and breathe upon the slain, that they may live. We are going to first of all pray and command that the wind of God from the four corners of Nigeria we blow away. We blow away every enemy that has said to set Nigeria on fire. They will be blown into the abyss. They will be blown into the abyss with all their weapons. They will be blown into the abyss in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth now. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the wind from the four corners of Nigeria blow away into the abyss. Every enemy that has said to set Nigeria on fire, let them be blown into the abyss. Let them be blown into the abyss. Let them be blown into the abyss, into the abyss with all their weapons. Every one of them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now back to you and your family. It says, Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves. I will open your graves. And cause you to come up out of your graves. And bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. When I have opened your graves. O oh my people. And brought you out of your grave. Now you are going to pray. Everything that belongs to you. That has been in prison. That has been buried. That has given you hopelessness will come up out of the grave. They will be released this morning in the name of Jesus. 
Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, everything that belongs to me, everything that belongs to my family, that has been buried, I command now, come out of the grave in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. Begin to pray now. Begin to pray now. Everything that belongs to you, everything that belongs to your family, that has been buried, everything that belongs to you and your family, every good thing that belongs to you and your family, that has been buried. Today, as you prophesy, the graves are opening up. They are opening up their mouth. And everything that belongs to you that have been buried is coming up alive. It's coming up now. It's coming up now. In the name of Jesus. Everything that belongs to your children that have been buried. Everything that belongs to your wife that has been buried. Everything that belongs to your family, your husband, that has been buried. I command now. I prophesy now. Let them come out alive. Let them come out alive. Let them come out alive. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I told you before, every dry bone in your life and family will come up alive. We have prophesied upon Nigeria. Every hopelessness in Nigeria is being turned around there is hope for Nigeria. And I tell you now, every good thing that belongs to you, that belongs to your children, that belongs to your wife, that belongs to your husband, that has been buried, I command it now, come up alive in the name of Jesus. Every grave they have been buried, I command you, grave, open your mouth now. I command you, grave, open your mouth now. I command you, grave, open your mouth now. Vomit what you have self-trialled in the name of Jesus. Every good thing that belongs to these people of God, I command. Vomit it to them now in the name of Jesus. Receive your inheritance. Receive your inheritance. Receive your inheritance. Every hopelessness in your life, I command, let them be turned around now in the name of Jesus. Let every dry bone be revived. Let them receive life. Let them receive life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. prayers today he did it in the time of old he still stands with us today and is here to answer our prayers amen there was 
a man in olden days, Elijah was his name, because that sin did so abound, he prayed and stopped the way. And for three years or more, we're told they never had a shot. For God in heaven answered them, Elijah's prayer was
Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I see you entry into a new dispensation. Yeah. Where are your hands, please? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, yeah. believe you are here this morning to do something wonderful in our lives. I pray for that person that escaped from a fire incident and the devil is planning another one. Let me tell you, your family will not be consumed by fire. I pray for that thing. If somebody is a body that requires an operation, heaven will perform the operation. A team of doctors from heaven led by Jesus himself will remove that thing in your body. All cancer germs that have proved stubborn. This is cancer that is not ordinary. I rebuke every cancer germ. I command you to die. <laughs> that person there that you always say, you, you will find yourself in the, this, this is a kind of tree. These are bamboo trees. You'll be inside the bamboo trees. That is where, actually, there's a power gravitating your members of your family underneath that bamboo tree. That is the witchcraft coven of your family. I command fire to consume that bamboo tree and consume that particular place where they are carrying out their activities. They pick somebody in your family to join their coven because they cannot attack you without somebody bringing you up. Somebody close to you, an insider has not been discovered. That insider is in your house. Let me tell you, any insider witch, insider marine agent, cover, undercover agent that is hiding in your family and giving information about your family to those that will use, you, use it against you, I expel that person from your home. Those who are offended because they removed them from where they used to be, their position of recognition. And now they are angry. They are trying to take revenge. They are going places. They are going to see Babalawo. They are going to see bad people. They are going to consult with agents of darkness to turn your life around, to turn it into danger. I command fire to meet them on the way. That's a message for some people here this morning. Our God is merciful. There are certain things going on in your life right now. There are certain experiences you are passing through every night. There are certain attacks that happen every night. The Lord has pulled that attack down. It cannot happen again. See somebody carrying something, I, I think you are from the hospital perhaps, and the hospitals cannot help you. I, I, I see something that is attached to your body covered with a cloth. Let me tell you, my dear brother, there's still healing in the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Somebody shout a great amen. amen. Up till this moment as I stand here by the grace of God to speak to you deliverance is still possible in the name of Jesus you won't live here the same way you can you came I command that particular disease to leave your body right now in the name of Jesus every sacrifice they put on the way Every danger they put on your way. Everything you have carried with your leg. Everything you are not supposed to see, you are seeing it with your eyes. Everything you are not supposed to hear, but you have had it. Everything you are not supposed to experience, but you are experiencing it. You are released from your bondage this morning in the name of Jesus. Somebody was saying recently, how can, how can one be going to prayer and uh, one is being prayed for and yet God is not delivering the person because you see 
you are under pressure. They want you to either produce or perish. In fact, both the, uh, the, 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 the father, the mother, the, the people of, the, of your husband's family, everybody is gathered against you, against just somebody that even got married when she was so young. And now they are expecting children, and they are blaming you for the childlessness in the family. They are mounting pressure on you. People are prayed for you. There's no answer according to what you're saying. There will be an answer. The Lord sent a message to you this morning. The Lord has visited you already. I said to you now, the Lord has visited you already. Everybody here that pressure is upon you, the Lord has visited you already. Every door, I, I, every ancient door locked against you, I command the door to open right now. Oh yes, I expect results, you expect results. Raise up your hand, let anointing come upon your hand this morning. Somebody shout a big hallelujah there. From now on, you will produce results. The spirit of failure following you, I cast that spirit out. The power of limitation following you, I cast that power out. The danger and the difficulties and the poverty and the deep poverty, I cast that in out of your life in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. Thank you, Father, for your answer. In Jesus' name we pray. We started this new series, and today we are going deep into it. Last week was introduction. Today we are going into the heart of the Fire of God series. I want you to turn to Obadiah verse 17. Obadiah verse 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. When we talk about deliverance, Deliverance actually does not have a ministry. You can't just say, I'm a deliverance minister. Deliverance comes with attachments. Deliverance and salvation. Deliverance and holiness. And Obadiah, being a prophet of God, was prophesying here. He said, upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. You must be on a mountain, not on a valley. And he says, that deliverance comes with holiness. And then... After the deliverance, the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. You see, some prophets prophesy to you. They tell you so many things, and it doesn't happen. They tell you so many prophecies, and none of those prophecies come to pass. That is how you know that that prophet is not of God. This prophet is saying here, he said, upon Mount Zion. You see, power is locational. Power is position on something. Hallelujah. And that is why they may remove you from one place, put you in another place. The power follows you. It says, but, despite what has been happening in the enemy camp, but, upon Mount Zion shall be delivered. I declare to everybody connected this morning, no matter what has been happening to you, there's going to be a change this morning. And so I'm talking to you on the fire in deliverance ministration. The fire inside the deliverance ministration. You see, if you are a believer nowadays, you will have observed that the demand for deliverance ministration is so high that pastors and preachers are under pressure to meet the demand. You know, when the demand is high and the supply is low, the price will go up. You don't need to be, have a, a, a degree in economics to know that. And now, because the demand is so high, the pastors are under pressure. The prophets and ministers are under pressure to meet this demand. And because of that, there have been introduction of strange practices. 
introduction of strange practices, deviation from biblical doctrines, because we are under pressure to meet people's uh, uh, needs. And then there will be degeneration into even magic rituals and spiritism. Some places of worship look more like an African shrine than a church now, because people are trying to conduct deliverance. People bring goat now. They bring coconut. They bring water. They bring incense. They bring everything. And they make a lot of noise and shout like the prophets of Bea, and there's no answer. I was talking to somebody because she's given a lot of prophecies. And it was discovered that what she's saying was incorrect. And so I said, why were you doing that? She said, because they wanted to hear something. So I have to tell them something. They, they were putting pressure on me. They want to hear. And so because they wanted to hear, and I didn't know what to say to them, so I started telling them lies. I pray that you will not be under the ministration of a prophet of lies. Because they can't help you. They can't help you because they can't even help themselves. And because people have gone into so many, many things in the name of deliverance, now you hear people say, I go to deliverance once every month. I go to deliverance once every year. And uh, it's like medical checkup. Instead of us to teach the people to walk in dominion, we are teaching them to walk in deliverance. I, I said, lesson number one this morning, my brother, my sister, begin to walk in dominion. Because if you are walking in deliverance only, you just came into the kingdom, you cannot be comfortable in the kingdom if all you have is deliverance, deliverance, deliverance all the time. Walk in dominion, walk in dominion. If you walk in dominion, you don't have to go for deliverance all the time. Because now you have understood what it means to live the Christian life and to have victory for yourself. That you can even pray and the enemies will be afraid of your prayer. Somebody shout hallelujah there. So that's why I'm talking to you today on the subject, the fire in the deliverance ministration. If the ministration doesn't have fire, it just goes like all these kind of things we take. And they write a thousand and one vitamins. Vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin D. You take it, it just passes through your body. Nothing, no effect. It just, it just put those names there for putting sake. Let me tell you something. When deliverance has a, an essential ingredient, it produces a life of freedom. And today, your work in dominion you walk in liberty. You walk in scripture. In the name of Jesus. The fire in deliverance ministration. Somebody shout hallelujah. I, I, I see a table actually. I see a table. And I see three chairs. One here. One here. And one here. I, I'm thinking what is going on in that scenario that's being painted right now. I see a table, it's a very nice table. One is empty, and then the other. That means there are three vacancies. Somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> you, know, you know how the Holy Spirit works. I was preaching here one day. I, I, I saw a woman that was under affliction. And I saw that the person that was afflicting the woman had, was into transportation business and also had a bad head. I, I mentioned it here from the stage. And the woman came to the office and said, Pastor, how on earth can God reveal that to you? You're just describing my husband. Is it a transportation business and he has a bad head? You even mentioned that he's short. Everything you said is about my husband. And today the Holy Spirit is estranging your environment. Somebody shout a big amen. Yeah. There is a vacancy. And here you are. You are looking for a job. You will sit on one of those chairs very soon. Because your glory will come back. Your honor will come back. Your brightness will come back. Your favor will come back. 
your dominion will come back. Your excellency will come back. Your beauty will come back. Your, your honor will come back. You see, I don't like, you see, you see, it's not good to doubt what God says. Because you may not see any rain. You may not see any, nothing at all. Everywhere looks so dry. Sometimes when it is the driest, the driest season in your life, that is when God brings his season into, your, into place, into position. Sometimes when there is nothing, that's when God comes into operation. God is going to come into your operation. It's going to make your bed. It's going to clean your room. You are going to come out of that sick bed walking on your two legs in the name of Jesus. That is why I'm talking to you today on the fire in the deliverance ministration. Listen very carefully. The fire we are talking about today, it was spoken about in the passage I'm about to read. And I'm going to give you what the fire is meant to do. In Jeremiah chapter 43, I read verse 12. Jeremiah chapter 43, I read there in verse 12, 43, verse 12. And I will kindle a fire in the houses of the gods of Egypt, and he shall burn them and carry them away captive. And he shall array himself with the land of Egypt as a shepherd put, in, put it on the, his garment, and he shall go forth from thence in peace. He shall break also the images of Bethshemesh that is in the land of Egypt, and the houses of the gods of the Egyptians shall he burn with fire. Let me hear you shout, fire. fire. What is this fire going to do? Number one, the fire of God. Are you listening? The fire that comes from God. The fire that God himself is the originator. It's not meant to destroy people but to defend his project. You don't hear me? The fire that comes from God is not meant to destroy people, but to deliver his project. And if you are a project in the hands of God, God will defend his project. You will not end up becoming an uncompleted building. You will not end up becoming an abandoned project. His fire is meant to defend his project, not to destroy people. I, I see a lot of people that shall fire, fire, kill them, kill them. Of course, they may mean something else. Maybe that's what they meant. That's what they meant. But the fire that comes from God, that is going to come this morning, I promise you, before long, because we are going to pray very shortly, before long, before five minutes into the prayer, Fire will consume everything that is challenging your person. I see a house that is about to be seized. Not in this country, not in Nigeria. They, they, I, I can see that house now. They are about to take the house from the owner. This, this should be UK. This should be UK. They are about to take the house from the person because the person has defaulted. Listen to me. If you want prosperity, if you want prosperity that will sh save you from shame, at the time you need it, there's only one source where that prosperity comes from. Where does it come from? It comes from heaven. I say to you that it's about to lose your house, you will not lose your house. Yeah. Did I hear you say very good amen there? Those that want to take something away from you because you cannot pay for it, you will not lose that thing because God is going to send a big help after now. Yeah. And you say, I'm looking for 5,000. Please, don't come here to pray for 5,000 prayer anymore. What will 5,000 do for you? Is it for transportation? Travel from here to Agege, 5,000 is finished. Please, don't ask for 5,000 because God has a better plan. I'm saying to somebody this morning, no matter what you pass it through, God has a better plan. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so God's fire is not meant to destroy people, but to defend his project. It is not to roast and destroy, but to restore your destiny. Your destiny is going to be restored. 
You know, sometimes people look at you, they see you, they see your dream, and they target your dream. You see, when they were fighting against Joseph, it wasn't his life they were, they were aiming at. It was his dream. Here come this dreamer. Come on, let us kill him and see what will happen to his dream. Your, the real target is not you, but your dream. And when they come after your dream like that, and if they ever succeed in destroying your dream, you know what will happen to you? You become surplus to requirement. You become extra. You are not a main character in that film anymore. In the industry of life, in the annals of life, in the production system of life, in the economic system of life, in every aspect of life, you become surplus to requirement because somebody killed your dream. You become a dancer, not a destiny. You'll be dancing to entertain people. Then secondly, once your dream is successfully destroyed, then what happens to you? Your life goes into contrary, contrary to expectation. You are supposed to send money to the village. Village will be sending money to you. Ah, haba. People sent you here. Your father spent so much money to train you. Now you have BSc, MSc, even PhD, and you have never worked one day with that certificate. Instead of you sending money to village, village is gathering cover cover to send to you. That is like a curse. A curse. It will never happen again. Yeah. Where are you? I'm speaking to somebody today. Every power that wants to kill your dream with your two eyes open, the Lord will deal with them. Yeah. And I will not blame Elijah. You won't. Some people, the way they talk, sometimes they will call you, they will say, there's so much straight fire. I understand. But you don't have pure fire. So how do you, how do you manage to wake up to discover strange fire? A minister who is sleeping every day in a mortuary, in a cold room, inside the refrigerator, your temperature is minus 20. And you are shouting, that prayer meeting, they are doing there, this and this. I said it over and over, this is not a prayer meeting, this is a miracle service. The Lord told me to speak the word anyhow. Just like our minister was ministry today, I prophesied to the dry bone that they begin to come together. Are you hearing me this morning? Everything troubling your life shall be taken out of the place right now. You know what is going to happen this morning? God is going to come down to help you in a very special way. And so, instead of you becoming a rescuer, you are now the one that needs rescue. Why? Where are your hands? God is turning you to a rescuer. They call you and they say, this is what is happening. You say, don't worry. Something is happening in the family, reproach upon our family. You say, don't worry. And they say, okay, we, we need up to five million. You say, don't worry. You just say, punch your phone like this. <laughs> and you send five million to them. <laughs> You know, all this kind of thing that everything is borrowed. Even toothpaste, borrowed. The bed you are sleeping upon, borrowed. The vehicle you use for marriage on the day of your wedding, borrowed. And even the one you use to bury you. <laughs> oh, may you not die in poverty. It's a product of what some people have done because they have succeeded, perhaps, in, in killing somebody's dream. Every dream that has been swallowed up will be vomited again. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob will possess that possession. Where are you? Today is different. I want you to take your Bible like a, a believer. And please don't let anybody disturb you. I won't take your Bible and stand up wherever you are here right now. Because today is a special day of prayer. Hey! 
I'm telling you today, on, under this subject, the fire in deliverance ministration, you will see fire in your prayer today. <laughs> I want to raise up your two hands and say, God, I ask you this morning that your fire will accompany my prayer of today. Raise up your hand and begin to make that prayer. Let your fire accompany my prayer of today. Because I am in trouble. I have so many things going on. I don't know what they are doing. I don't know what is going on around me. Accompany my prayer today with a divine fire element. Because deliverance cannot be possible without the presence and the power of God signified by his fire. And deliverance does not go alone. It goes with salvation. It goes with holiness. It goes with reestablishment. It delivers you from shame and reproach. That's why this morning, in Jesus' name we pray. The moment we started praying, I saw that they started ringing a bell in a particular kingdom. Whatever that kingdom is, let them describe themselves. They started ringing a bell. It's like an alarm. They started praying. You know. Why are they praying at this time? What are they after? That particular place where that alarm is ringing, I can see their bell. Odin this bell. They just started ringing it. We are going to pray today that every, everywhere where my prayer is resisted, let fire visit that place. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, every kingdom raising an alarm to resist my prayer, Holy Ghost fire, destroy the kingdom now. Oh, you begin to pray. The moment the prayer started, they started to give up. As if they want to wake up. As if they want to resist what they're about to do. As if they want to resist what is about to happen. They cannot change their garment. They cannot change their garment. Cast them the way they are. Cast them on the wheels. Cast them accidentally. Cast visit them with danger. They are ringing bell. Say they are started though. <laughs> Let them receive the, the danger they are trying to avoid. Every power resisted prayer. Anywhere. Fighting against prayer. Send the alarm to one another. In Jesus' name we pray. I want all eyes to be closed because today is today. Yeah. I see something very, very, very surprising. Very, very surprising. I see an adult woman looking like a little baby inside a bottle. What that means is that in the spiritual realm, they arrested you, they put you inside a bottle, and you are looking like a baby. A little, in fact, the baby is very sick. Like a sick baby. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Every power. That have arrested me. Holy Ghost fire. Visit them now. All you begin to pray. Every system that reduces you. So that in the spiritual realm, you look like a little baby. In fact, a little sick baby inside a bottle, inside a kind of uh, chemical. 
inside some kind of water. Break every yoke. Everything that imprisoned you. Everything that imprisoned your certificate. Everything that imprisoned your dream. Everything that imprisoned your, de your destiny. Everything that imprisoned your, your glory. Everything that imprisoned uh, your life. Hey! Whatever it is, arise or pray. Hey! In Jesus' name, we pray. I want you to face any direction you want to face for this prayer. Create space for yourself. I see a particular gun. And this gun is not like, it's not an ordinary gun. It is one of these guns that they used to do hunting in your family bloodline. They have used that gun to shoot some people <laughs> in the spirit realm. They shoot them with a magic gun. The Lord told me we, are going to, we should pray today. That gun will disappear. Yeah. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, yeah. every weapon yeah. in the hand of the enemy yeah. that is being used to shoot down people and shoot down their dream. I destroy you today in the name of Jesus. How you begin to pray? Every weapon, the Bible says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment you shall condemn. This honor belongs to the children and the sons and the daughters of the Lord. Every weapon in the enemy hand. Every weapon they are using. Every item that is being used. Oh, I have. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> you will be the first person in your family to do what I'm about to tell you now. When we finish this prayer meeting, you can write it down where you want to write it down. You are going to be the first person in your family bloodline to proceed and progress beyond this level. I saw <laughs> I saw a diagram. You, you see, we will not pray blindly anymore. 
I see so many roads that have been taken by people in your family bloodline. Some are coming from this side, coming from so many roads, coming, coming. They get to a certain place and the road is closed. And that road closed, people will remain there until they die. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. The power in my family bloodline. The strong man in my family bloodline. That have put a roadblock on our ways. Today, you will fall down and perish, and the road will open. Oh, yeah, begin to pray right now. Challenge every power. That roadblock must not be there. You are crossing. Hey! Roadblock of premature death. You are crossing it. Roadblock of death, mysterious death by accident. You are crossing it. Roadblock of mysterious stagnation. You are crossing it. Hey! Roadblock of demonic limitation. You are crossing it. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> it will not be up to tomorrow. Let's take note. By tomorrow morning, you have something to say after this prayer. Let me tell you what is happening right now. Around 4 a.m., 4 a.m., you begin to hear some noise inside the ceiling. And this has been going on for a long time. And you don't know what is happening. <laughs> There's somebody in that house that normally go to attend their meeting. By four o'clock, they come back with their spirit and they land on your family, on the house. That's why you are hearing that noise. Therefore, <laughs> The place where they normally land. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Every witch or wizard. Every power of darkness. Flying out of my house. When you land. You will land on fire this night. All you begin to pray. Hey, they will land on fire. People are sleeping, they take off. <laughs> they go to wherever they want to go. They make all their requests against normal people. They carry out destructive activities. And when they are coming back, they land upon the ceiling. They land upon the roof. They land upon their bed. But when they land tomorrow morning, they will land on fire. 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 Land on top of fire. Hey!
In Jesus' name we pray. Raise up your two hands. The evil transaction they have done. <laughs> you know, some people they say we are so strong and we can drink with human skull. And when it is time for us to die, we use another person to replace ourselves. <laughs> When our glory is going down, we pick another person's glory and turn the person to a useless person. We add his glory to our own. Fire will visit those people. Let me hear a loud amen. If you are here this morning and they have used your glory to exchange with another person, and because of that, no achievement in your life, <laughs> what will happen this morning is this your glory will come back to you. will be your greatest prayer today. Say, my father, my father, let my glory return to me. Oh, yeah, begin to pray. Hey. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Every manipulation that have been done, Every spiritual manipulation I've been done. Hey. Uh huh. Yes. Every exchange that I've been done. So that you do the suffering, you do the, the labor, you did do the, the sweating, and people are collecting everything you work for, for nothing. In Jesus' name we pray. I pronounce freedom and liberty to God's people. <laughs> Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Your hand. I tell the devil, get thee behind me. Victory today is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Everybody.
up your hand. I want to pray for you now. Everything within you now that is resisting your progress is going to dry up. Every evil chemical that the enemy has superimposed upon your system is going to dry up right now in the name of Jesus. The fire will consume anything that's not planted my, by my God in your body, in your spirit, in your soul. Where are you, Father, in the name of Jesus? I come against the powers of darkness fighting against the people of God. The wicked powers coming from under the sea. I command fire to visit their location right now. All their alarm system that have been put in place, all the monitoring devices put in place to monitor people, I command those devices to be co completely consumed by fire this morning in the name of Jesus. The people put inside the bottles some demonic bottle, and they use magic to reduce you to a little child. I command that bottle to break in pieces. Every system that I've been put in place, every magical system put in place to put you under detention, I command that it be broken right now in the name of Jesus. You have done everything, no prosperity at all. There's no, nothing flowing to you that is good. You are like in a landlocked country. You came across this deadline, this road block where all members of your family has always come and died. You will be the first person. Where are you? I said you will be the first person. To cross that roadblock in the name of Jesus. Every strong man that normally stands on that junction that kills people and makes people to die before their age, before their time, and make people to die in misery and poverty. I command that strong man you'll be visited by fire this morning in the name of Jesus. They prayed for you and you did not get the results. But upon this Mount Zion now, you say, Pastor, my life has been a story of woe, story of a delay. They delay you every time. I'm a, as if I'm existing, as if the, nobody is existing. I say to you this morning that upon this Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Every time you find yourself in a dream under that bamboo tree, I set fire to that bamboo tree. Every location where they use magic to gravitate your spirit, to gravi gravitate your destiny, and to, to bring you into, into poverty and penury, I command that power that draws people to break in pieces right now. Hey! I say around you, every dark shadow like a demon, around your destiny right now, I command the thunder of God to strike it down. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Hallelujah. Every dark shadow. When I talk, I talk. <laughs> you want to try my, the power of God here? 
you will see something. The dark power around that individual. That casts a shadow around her destiny. I command thunder to strike you down. <laughs> <laughs> hey! They, they come with their evil power. They have a way of coming and collecting things from you. They collect it, they take it away. I command every hand that I be collecting things from somebody's life, I command that hand to wither immediately. Every satanic punch containing people's destiny, people's dream. They put it inside the pot. I command the pot, cut fire and explode right now in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I release your marriage. I release your destiny. I release your dream. Oh, hallelujah. This month, your promotion will come. And the kind of victory, the kind of prosperity, the kind of favor, the kind of promotion, the kind of honor you have never seen in your family, you will be the first person to experience it. Every shop that I be locked, every business center that I be locked. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey. Every womb that I be locked by wicked powers so that babies will not come there. I command everything that I belong be opened right now in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Next one is uh, if Jesus tarries, you are going to walk here majestically with your testimony. <laughs> hey, you are lifted now. I say to you, my brother, my sister, you are lifted right now. I say to you and your siblings, I say to you and your wife, I say to you and your husband, I say to you and your children, I say to you and members of your church, I say to you and everything around you, you are lifted right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you because you have answered all these prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A powerful clap of free for Jesus. Amen. I said, Amen. You have received your blessing today, and you have received your deliverance by fire today. You are going into your blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. Now you have heard, next Wednesday is another day, and you are coming, you are walking here into your testimony. So please come next Wednesday inviting people and come early and we are waiting to listen to hear your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. If today is your first time of coming here, please come to this role here. Today is your first time coming here. Come to this role. And if you have appointment with the prayer warriors, the prayer warriors will be meeting. Now let me announce to you that the pastor will not be having any general counseling because of another program. So if you are waiting to see him, um, except 
there is a special appointment given to you, please don't wait. God bless you. We have come to the end of the program. The holiness class will be meeting upstairs. God bless you. Go miracle in Jesus' name. Because that sin that's so bad, he prayed and stopped the rain. And for three years or more, we're told they never had a shine. For God, he never answered them. Elijah's prayer was heard. Because that sin did so abound, he prayed and stopped the rain. And for three years or more, and so they never had a shot. For God, he never answered them. Elijah's prayer of God, Elijah's God still lives today. Oh, blessed be his name. And when his children Friends. 
to the praise, he answers to the same. Yes, he controls the universe, all things obey his word. And when by faith we call on him, our humble prayer is heard. Elijah's constellation today, oh blessed be his name. And when his children to him pray, he answers to the same.
Sí, sí, sí.